Hello guys, I am Milo back with another video. I am really tired, I've just finished that curly hair video, but I'm gonna make a quick video showing how to do one single ringlet. Now somebody said that they came to see how to do this on my curly hair video, didn't learn that, but she enjoyed the video anyway. And because I know it's quite a simple um, video for me to make, I'm gonna make it nice and quickly for you guys. I'm gonna draw one single ringlet, and I'm gonna show basically um, how to get the shine in that ringlet. I think I'm going to have the sound off on this video because I might, I might speed it up and I haven't got my mic yet so I can't voice over so uh, bear with me guys for now it's going to be a little bit of a time lapse but I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, add me on Snapchat, Instagram, Artist Marie Lowe and also share on your social medias guys if you know any artists out there that enjoy watching art or want to learn more about art um, you can reach out to them so please do share on your social medias. Don't forget to like this video. And on top of all of that, just enjoy watching, guys. I don't know if I just recorded that part. I think I might have left it out. I've decided I'm going to talk to you guys. I'm being really selfish. I call these art tutorials, and that is exactly what I'm going to make. <laughs> I, um, if I'm honest with you, I'm watching The Walking Dead, and um, I've got into it. So I was being a little bit selfish there. But while I'm drawing it, I'm eager to tell you what I'm doing. Now, I'm realising that... This is something that used to be very hard for me. As I'm doing it, I'm literally remembering when I was young, trying to draw a plait or things like this and being really frustrated. And surprisingly, this is feeling easy. So it just goes to show, drawing all of those um, curly hair videos have helped me a lot. As you know, guys, the more you draw, the better you become. You have to go through, um, you know, the, the, you have to go through the mistakes to learn as I speak, I've just made one. You have to go through making the mistakes and learning from the mistakes and it can be frustrating. But my advice to anyone is to draw, 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 draw as much as you can. And if you love drawing, don't let it become a chore. You know, draw what you feel like drawing. You know, and it, I didn't wait. I waited until I would have been drawing a long time before I started challenging myself. And believe it or not, one of the reasons why I refused to become an artist when I was younger was because um, I really believed that out of all things, I was really good at drawing faces, but I was no good at drawing hair. And that was the thing. <laughs> when people said to me, you should be an artist, I'd say, yeah, but I can't draw everything. I can't draw hair. So it's pointless. And now I just find it quite ironic that I'm actually starting a YouTube channel, deciding that I'm going to teach some art and show what I do. And then, um, just by chance, just on requests, people asking me to draw you know, hair waves and things, things I hadn't tried before. And now I've got probably more hair videos on my channel than anything else. So it just goes to show, the more you practice, the better you become. Um, I still make a lot of mistakes and I don't let them get to me really because life is about making mistakes and learning from them. So it's no different with drawing, you know, make those mistakes confidently, don't worry about it. Try not to throw the work away. If you have to start again, but one of the biggest lessons I've learned as an artist is patience. And trust me guys, it still does jar my brain at times. I have to force myself sometimes to sit at the table and stop finding excuses, to go downstairs and make a coffee or go and have something to eat or phone a friend. <laughs> I really sometimes have to force myself. Like Marie, come on, you can do this. Just get this part over with. It's like, um, <laughs> Have you ever decided that you're going to like completely and utterly clean out cupboards and rooms and organise paperwork and you get it all out and then you stare at it for hours and you move things around a little bit and you just don't know where to start. That's how I feel quite often when I'm dealing with something that's quite challenging. So when you feel like that, just say to yourself, come on, you can do it. And if you can't get yourself to do it, then take a break. But do not give up. Yeah and you make sure you get back down to it. You have to have the end goal in mind and if the end goal is to be able to draw confidently and to create amazing art, then you have to work at it just the same as anything. You have to train. Now, I've almost finished this. Okay, I'm gonna speed up some of this video because um, I don't wanna keep, <laughs> I actually feel like after making those curly hair videos in real speed, I just feel like I really don't wanna force anyone to sit and watch something for a long space of time. Um, I just can't imagine that anyone's patient enough to watch um, something for that long. But actually, 
I have to keep thinking back to when I first started drawing and realised, Marie, you would have watched that over and over again. So I really did do it in real speed, hoping that people can actually sit down with the same tools and try to draw it bit by bit, copying what I was doing. So if anybody does do that, feel free to send me um, the image, uh, tag me on your Instagram if you put it up, or um, you can send me it in Snapchat. Although Snapchat, if you press it by accident and then close it by accident or whatever, it disappears. So it's probably best to email me. But I love to see when people have been inspired by something that I've done and then they've given it a go themselves. That always cheers me up. And it helps me know that I'm doing the right thing with teaching art. I have no previous experience in teaching art other than teaching myself. So far, I think I'm doing all right. I'm loving that I've come out of my shell a bit. Um, I keep thinking, Marie should have done this years ago, but actually years ago, I don't think I would have done this because I just didn't want my voice on, <laughs> on YouTube. But I'm actually really enjoying making these videos. Really enjoying it. And what uses art if it's not seen? I've decided that I'm gonna do a bit of a giveaway because I've reached over a thousand subscribers now and I can't tell you how happy I am about that. Um, it's actually gone over 1,100 now, so it keeps climbing. I want to thank every single one of you. I was really not sure about doing a YouTube channel and I'm starting to realise that maybe it was a good idea. I'm really, really um, thankful to everybody that's subscribed, especially the loyal commenters, the people that comment all the time and let me know they've been watching the videos and whatnot. If you have any requests, guys, it depends on what it is because I do have a line of things in my head that I would like to do um, and these video making um, takes some time but I've still got videos I'm going to get around to for people so um, yeah just, just let me know if there's something you're really struggling with or I can help you with as long as I can make it into some sort of useful tutorial for other people then I'm willing to give it a go right I'm just touching up little bits here and there. That one does go higher. It goes across like that. Um, this one's got more of a swoop. I'll just use this. There we go. It's all about that. You could actually just draw that part, that part, and that part, and then just do the back bits. But, um, as you can see, this one's not quite straight because most of the time a ringlet isn't absolutely perfect, especially if you've got some heat damage. <laughs> but um, it's strange that somebody actually said that to me today on my um, in my comments because I really wanted to, when I first decided to start doing curly hair videos, what I wanted to do was um, make videos of different curl patterns. You know, like 3B, you know, and, and 2C, you know, stuff like that. But I find it quite hard to find the exact curl pattern online and then with a picture that I can draw. And it made me think, well, maybe people are going to be like, no, 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 that's a 2C, maybe, you know, you got it wrong. So instead, I'm just doing curls in general. And I'm actually enjoying it. I don't think I've ever drawn a ringlet before. Um... Maybe I have, I'm not sure. Right, I'm going to speed this bit up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some pencil on there, probably like a 2B quickly, and I'm just going to throw it on there, um, smudge it with an earbud um, or Q-tip, whatever you call it, and then I'll get back to you.
So I'm gonna use the eraser just to rub out and tidy out the outside. And then I'm gonna use this, where is that? The thin eraser, the little round one. I'm gonna use this one next to create the shine on each bit of the curl. Okay, I'm almost finished now. I'm just going to use this um, 0.3 mechanical pencil. It's got a HB lead in it. And I'm going to use this just to create some um, hair straight streaks and um, make it look a little bit more shiny, create the shine better. Now what I need to do is use my black polychromos pencil just to create more lines and all the darkest areas. Once I create the darkest areas, I feel like the thing comes to life. It just always comes to life. So hopefully after I've done this, it should be finished. <laughs> 